Kapla and welcome my friends. I'm Hanot Duck and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty. We're playing uh, with the Star Trek New Horizons mod as the Klingon Empire. I've done a bunch of trading behind the scenes so we should see an inflow, a, a huge mineral inflow in a couple of seconds when all the trade treaties go through. Yes, yes, come on, give me your minerals. I've been selling some star charts and stuff. Yes, we're getting even more. 3,000, we'll only be able to store 10,000 but it's not going to be quite as much but I've basically converted the energy credits and also um, pimped out our star charts. Uh, we've got the spaceport level 4 research, that's good, that's good, what do we get? I probably should go for advanced starship design because that's apparently going to give us additional hull types. I would like to get the battle cruisers. Filled the largest torpedo batteries of any known ship design. Their strong servos are able to obliterate smaller vessels in an instant. But high maintenance and weak defensive systems limit their ability to serve as the core for a fleet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Could go for better photon torpedoes. But at this point, I think the advanced starship design is what we've been waiting for for a long time. I could possibly actually push forward the Multitronic computer over here. 30 months remaining, 31 months remaining, it's not gonna be... It's not gonna be instant, but at least we'll be able to build a couple more ships, and... I think we might make those ships more destroyers. Because we have orbital dockyards and we have the fleet academy, so why not go for a couple more destroyers? I'm gonna queue up one additional cruiser since this one is gonna be finished, and... No, wait, wait, wait. We might actually want to use that time. So we're gonna we're gonna need a thousand. I know that. So we'll probably just queue up enough of them on Gamma Aridon Prime. No, that's too many. All right then. Maybe another frigate. Yeah, that's probably what we want. And then we're gonna send the other governor. The other governor. Uh, we're gonna send over here. So that we can build that for 1100 instead. It doesn't really matter. I could have actually built it on Gamma Aridon, but we just want to use the production cap capacity on all of those. So that's probably the best way to do this. So let's churn out another cruiser in here. And then maybe the smaller stations. Um, we could actually go for... Yeah, we have the Fleet Academy. We have the Orbital Dockyard. So we should... Probably go for Wowie. Haley Prime. Yeah. Give you that person. Trade Republic has entered into a non-aggression pack. That's fine. We we'll probably want to put out a couple of um, patrol ships here. Oh yeah, and that construction ship is fed uh, is done over there. That's I mean, it's actually not done. It's just running away. A coward. Um, we do want to send a ship over here to build an outpost, so probably going to wait until the end of the month. Let's do that. Um, Nossa Fleet, where is it? Yeah, I mean, oh, it, it's that one, apparently. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting more ships from our vassals. They are uh, giving us about 3,500 in additional fleet power. So once we have reached about parity... With the Husnock, we should probably take them on to not drag this war out and actually create an opening for someone else. On the other hand, if we attack too soon... Oh yeah, there the Imperial Fleet is up to 70,000 now. If we attack too soon, they're going to take that as a sign of... Um, we're going to lose too many ships and then the other empires are going to take that as a sign that we... Should be attacked probably. Flaxian are now in a non aggression pack with the Romulans. Drill Republic is in a non aggression pack with these guys. Ah, I really don't want these to become vassals. Independence is guaranteed. Yeah, crap, crap, crap. Well, I can fight the Romulans. It's fine. It's fine. What are these guys doing? Entering orbit of Nagel, warping to Thornburg. Okay, so they've understood. That their fleet is no longer strong enough to really be hanging out in our own space. That's good. That's really good. I like it. We've successfully driven them out of our system. Um, I wonder if we would be strong enough to actually take on that transport fleet. They haven't even managed to take that planet, so... 
Ah, they're just now guaranteeing the independence of the Flagstein Republic. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. But it won't help them. It won't help them. They're gonna join the Empire one way or another. They'll see. Remnants haven't been able to protect them up until now. Why should they later on? Where's Haley? Over here. Maybe a patrol frigate and an additional one. Okay, that science ship is moving out again. Why? Because of that research station at the end of the system? You are such a wuss. Are you even a Klingon? Is what I want to know. Where did they get you? Uh, we should probably build a couple more armies. So maybe five more armies will do the trick. One, two, three, four, five. We've been losing armies. And that, that trick might also no longer be needed, having that transport fleet inside their space. What do they have in here? Oh, they are, they're using minefields. That's interesting. That's very interesting. They're mining the areas around their spaceports. The Republic is now guaranteeing the Cheronite Commissariat. Yeah. Stay out of my politics. Stay out of my zone of influence, Trill. You're one you're one province miner. Leave it. Okay, interstellar commerce. Planet unique. By assigning station sections to merchants, we will draw necessary trade to our station. That's pretty nice. Unlocks building trading center. Not much more than a clearing and some basic facilities for civilian freighters and trading ships. The basic trading center is meant to make way to a range of specialized commercial buildings. It's meant to be upgraded into one of three specialized structures. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, that sounds good. Frontier development specialization could be interesting, though. I've never seen that kind of thing. But we might be struggling in terms of money, so... It costs a hundred influence to build as well. Holy cow! That's one expensive building. Full war footing. Ship upgrade cost, army upkeep, ship repair speed. Social welfare program gives us more happiness. Encourage free thought, information quarantine. A little bit less research speed. That's not, yeah. Let's go for this one. I wanna, I wanna see what it does. That would be kind of interesting. So we're going to wait until that cruiser is finished. Going to have that destroyer being built. And we probably could go for an additional patrol frigate. We're going to be... Yeah, we're going to be shy. Just shy of our actual naval capacity. Which is good. That's what we want. We want, we want to be built up. How do they look now in terms of military power? Still overwhelming, but only in their tech level. And since we, since for some reason all the techs get um, rolled into that, um, really, managed to catch my my one single tra Why are you flying towards them though? Come on, show some common sense. Station complete. Well, nope. Common sense is not a thing amongst these transport ships. That's for sure. Uh, but it seems to be a thing on both sides. <laughs> so tell you what, we're gonna... We're gonna do this. And we'll probably be able to catch their invasion fleet. Right on the spot. Right on the spot. And I'm gonna laugh my ass off about that. Okay, we still got one more destroyer and another patrol frigate. Um, let's go for another patrol frigate here. That should give us enough screening ships to deal with the Husnok. They are using the evasion hulls, so... This actually reduces our income a fair bit. Kronos should be basically done with upgrading the surface. With all the things that we have there. What are you? An egalitarian. Well, you deserve to be unhappy. Why are you even here? Station. Trill. Complete. Send a non aggression pack with the Ferengi. Okay then. Oh, and they've managed to colonize that second planet. 
How can we aid the Rain of Curla? I mean, yeah, why not? At least they're doing something constructive. Station. The reason why I'm going over here is because I want to jump into the system, catch these guys. If I just jump straight in, we would be at the other end of the Station. system, never being able to catch these guys. We found them as the Zagdom Alliance, or Zagdorn Alliance. Oh, right. They have their borders close to everyone. Our goal is not power, but knowledge, although they can sometimes be the same. Can we vassalize them? Xenophilia, but spiritualist fools. Got a science ship vessel over there. Station complete. Okay, all my vessels are joining me. Space Bird of Kronos is done. So we got another cruiser. And that just about brings us to our naval cap. 376 of 377. As if I'd planned it. Ferengi are now in a defensive pack with the Trill. <laughs> I mean, I always thought there was a attraction between... Um, between Quark and the Trill science officer in Deep Space Nine, but... This still surprises me. <laughs> Why would the Trill do that instead of joining the Hostile Federation? Okay, so now we're going to jump in here. And we should be able to wreak havoc on that transport fleet. Kill them all, if we can. They're going to try to retreat. Yeah, and they've retreated. Detected. Okay, we're gonna keep these guys in that system just because all the other ships are trying to merge with that one, so we'll probably just leave it. Got another transport fleet. You're warping to Beta Lankel. Well, that's gonna be an unpleasant surprise Spatial rift detected. for you. Where are they? Okay, didn't see them. So the Imperial fleet is now going to be about 20k strong, so we're really strong enough now to take the Hellsnock out. We are losing energy credits, so I gotta force a um, decisive battle soonish. And we're also almost done building those building those armies. I guess I'm gonna chuck one more onto there so that we get a full 20 stack, which is about what is enough um, to take all the planets, in my experience. Uh, Member Prime. I did one of these. I had one of these planets as an energy planet. Yeah, you. So why don't we actually use some of our minerals to go the energy route here? Um, let's put the governor that actually saves us some minerals on there. So cancel that one again. And where was it? I was upgrading another building, right? Wasn't I? Probably not. Oh yeah, over here. Cancel that one. So now we should be able to do it a little bit cheaper. Um, this probably needs a power plant. You probably need a power plant. Just trying to make sure that we can keep our fleet out um, if push comes to shove. There is some some stuff on the ground. Um, we're also going to build another power plant over here. Put you on there. Just trying to make sure that no one is without any work. You're going to be in work soon. Or in employment. You're going to be in employment very soon. Should probably upgrade that building. And then all the buildings that have no food on there. Like this one. For example. Is going to be replaced with some more energy production. Like that's good. Uh, we might probably want to set the, where is it, the ecological preserve on one of these planets. So let's do that. And yeah, the rest looks fine. I'm not going to build over the science stuff. But that is okay. Oh yeah, we can upgrade you. That's good. That's good. And then Raptor... We should probably send someone over there who 
reduces who reduces the cost. So let's upgrade that thing, and then we will most likely want to want a basic power plant on there, and probably on here and here as well. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got I got the phone in my room. Just gotta stop the recording for a second. And I'm back. Sorry about that. I actually forgot that I had the phone in my room. So I probably have to edit these two parts together. But oh well. Um, so yeah, that should that should take care of our energy credits need. Just going to wait until these two ships have um, joined up. And then we're actually going to move into the Halsnok territory. That should be all fine and dandy. Hickson. What Hickson? What's, what's that? Five armies at this location. You're not in the Hickson system. I'm in the Kronos system. Okay, Haley's system has been fully surveyed. How is the building of the Frontier Outpost over there going? Could you could you be bothered to actually get those Frontier Outposts up now? That's a construction ship. Man, these guys are taking their sweet time. There are the Vader Emirates. I'm not sure why they are in here even. Station complete. No orders. We'll find the Chai Aliens. Oh, you're already, you're already going for the Frontier Outpost as well. Okay. I approve of that. I approve of that. And probably all of this is gonna join up with the rest of our space. Well, maybe if we get the other one over here. Hopefully. It should be enough to propagate our borders. We don't have that in, in our space. Just not in our space. <laughs> well, we got that Iota Hydri, which is good. All right, so we've got a 20k fleet. Um, these guys should be equivalent. Yeah, all right then. And we got this this army. So let's make sure that we actually give all these guys attachments as well. Have some attachments. Have some attachments. Have some attachments. More attachments. We're gonna fight on their ground now. Okay, right. Embark all of these guys. So now we have a 20 transport fleet. And then we should probably start with uh, McIntyre. So let's just send our fleet into the McIntyre system. We're just gonna take planet by planet. And let them confront us if, if they wanna confront us. Our vassals are still following us because we're strong enough. We found the Agrathi Commonwealth. Respect our authority or else. Oh, there are the Fendomar states. They're pathetic. We might probably be able to integrate them. Get them as a vassal or something. Non-aggression pack with these guys. We could potentially vassalize them. Materialist, militarist, xenophile. Right. Okay. It might be better to just attack them, take them out. Demand vassalization, we must be at peace. Yeah, we can't check how high the chance for that is. And they're probably going to be pissed once they take out the Husnok and take a big chunk of a land out of them. The Flaxians we can't touch at the moment. And the Agrathi Commonwealth has closed their borders. Well, screw you. Okay, we're starting building the, the rural frontier outpost, which should connect these areas. Um, hopefully, actually connect up with the rest of the stuff as well. So that's good. There's the Imperial fleet. I probably won't really need that outpost over here anymore. Anyhow, now yeah, yeah, there's a there is a system in Thornburg, the geocrystalline that we could potentially terraform. Hmm. There's the Cheronite Commissariat. What are you going for? Following the Imperial Fleet. Alright. I mean, I guess they know that we're going for Mega Entire. Non-aggression pact between the Antosian Union. And we've got an offer. Yeah, I take that. I have the Trillium D. It's worthless to me. Because I have so much of it. I even have an additional building slot for the Dilithium. Research complete. Okay, Starship Design Breakthrough. So, 
Chancellor Kerler, my name is the Shipwright and I've been leading a team researching advanced starship designs. I'm pleased to announce that we've made a substantial breakthrough, offering us a number of potential applications to pursue. So, um, yeah, what? As you know, following a breakthrough in starship construction techniques, we must decide between three design philosophies. Tactical variants are outfitted with additional tactical slots to best perform our enemies outperform our enemies in offensive capabilities. Additional engineering stations and modules on our ships allow us to outfit our ships with extra armor and hull plating as well as shield generators, thus improving our chances of survival in a fight. All support variant designed with scientific countermeasures and evasion in mind. So we're going to go for the tactical at this point. Although going for engineering would sort of capitalize on the hulls that we already have extra armor and hull plating but i think we're gonna go for the tactical here to deliver that damage um right so what do we get now 10 percent more minerals parametallic armor what does that one do plus six armor that's all okay we're getting star based shields Our continued advances in deflector shield technology has led us this way we should probably go with some of the cheaper ones. So let's just go and gain 10% more minerals. It's fine. It's also his specialty. This should go really fast. And then maybe we'll get something else. Um, ship designer. Does that change anything? Yeah, it does. It does. So we're probably in for, for a refit um, after we're done fighting this war. I might not go for that right now. Although, on the other hand... I mean, refitting to superior designs is almost always worth it because it's going to boost our our power. So let's let's have a look. This doesn't change really, the whole bird of prey thing. So, well, what does that do? What do we currently have? We have just one slot in each. This will give us four in tactical, advanced tactical cruisers, tactical cruiser. I mean, why not? Why not? Why not go for the advanced tactical cruiser? Um, so this should allow me to go for <laughs> boosting the weapon, weapon's power up like crazy. I don't know. Pre-fire chamber, fire rate, weapons damage. This is going to give us 40, no wait, 39, 49, 51%. Now, 52% additional weapons damage, but it's going to reduce our fire rate by 40%. So we're not going to fire as fast, but we're really going to hit uh, hard if we hit. And they don't cost any they don't cost any energy, which is uh, definitely a consideration here. Mm, operation station just boosts everything that we have, but uses power. Yeah, all the others use power. I think we're just gonna we're gonna try this design. It looks like it could be useful. Um, field generator because it's just more hull points. Emergency force field. The bulkheads also don't cost any power. But at this point, that one's gonna be a lot more useful. Hmm. We'll go with this. Let's let's try to make some power saving designs. Uh, we'll definitely need more tracking. So security station is probably a must at this point because we really have to hit if we want to make that happen. And then I can't go for wrecked over there, but I can go for the cargo pods, which is probably going to help the Empire in one form or another. Uh, I won't be able to put all the weapons on there, which is still a shame. But I guess that's how we're going to do it. These guys are going to hit really hard. We're getting 52%, but how is that? Why are weapons so weak? I guess I've neglected the the upgrading. Light photonic torpedo, heavy photonic torpedo. Yeah, I guess I've just not gone into research all that much. Mm, I could probably put some proper face disruptors on there. But they don't have the same amount of tracking that the other guys have. And I would have to change something. I mean, I could probably get rid of that um, additional hull point stuff. And just go for this. Nah. I'm not convinced. 
I'm not convinced. I actually think that the disrupted turrets are good because these guys need something to defend themselves against the smaller ships as well. Yeah, let's let's go with another disrupted turret here. Okay, save that. I think that is a design that's going to be a lot of fun for us. Weapons range, fire rate, weapons damage. Um, the destroyers, we also get a secondary hull for that. Let's go for advanced tactical destroyers. So, I'm probably the same thing on here. So, additional power banks. Um, an additional... Where is it? An additional security station here. This thing can be fitted with a cargo pod. Let's, let's really keep the the upkeep down on the ships. It's going to be good. Uh, although we also have crew quarters. I mean... Crew quarters need 30 power. Which at this point we have more than enough. At this point we have more than enough. We can even go for the crew, crew quarters level 2. Which only gives a marginal benefit. I mean 20% boost in um, all, all in all. But still, this looks, this looks good. I guess I can build around the cost in some other way. So let's go for another advanced tactical destroyer. Let's go for the... The auxiliary power banks, um, security station for more tracking. I'm gonna probably fill this with uh, another energy generation thingy, and this one we're gonna fill with crew quarters level two. And then the weapons are already built out like I want them, so that's all fine and dandy. Then let's save the quartz and the patrol frigates. Yeah, we get any addition. We don't get any additional hull for these, which is shitty. But I. I can't change that. <laughs> no way of changing that. I could go for the field generator. Give these guys an additional shield or something, but yeah, at this point, it's not going to work. Okay, so keep that. Um, how much would it cost to refit our fleet? 5,000? Fuck. Holy cow, 5,000? You've got to be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. It might have been a better idea to actually go for these edicts so that I could go for this. Reduce the upgrade cost by 15%. That's crazy. That's just crazy. <laughs> I mean, I guess I gotta save up. And it is a sizable fleet. Like, make no mistake, that is a very strong fleet at this point. Come on. Come on. We want this. We want this ended before their fleet can jump in so that they don't get the advantage of fighting right next to their spaceport. Okay, the fleet has jumped out. Transfer fleet can now come in. Uh, oh, and we got the Multitronic computers as well. Nice. We've got the extendable shield support module. Which gives us less shield hull points, uh, hit points, but 8% more weapons damage. I mean, that sounds kind of good. We're also getting... Oh, no. Yeah, right. We definitely need the, the Pergium. We need the Pergium, I think. Power plant. No, wait. That's just for the special resource. I don't really th think I need that. But we can get the power hub. Which is probably going to be very helpful now that we have such a big fleet. So let's keep that. But the Deutronic computer also forces me to do another redesign. Because um, these guys will... M5 computer. Oh no, wait. That just gives them way more tracking. Hmm. Okay then. Yeah, we'll actually make that change. I guess them way too much, way too much um, energy, but oh well. Destroyers. Crap. I won't be able to fit these on my ships on, um, unless I actually change something. <laughs> okay then okay then i guess the cargo pods win out and these design this is giving us even more weapons damage and more tracking which at this point 
15 additional tracking. That's making a lot of difference in the way that our ships are built out. So that's probably the superior design. These guys still have some additional power, but yeah, minus 80. Minus 80. So that's still minus 30. I don't think I can put a power thing on there. Ah, come on. Screw you. Well, we, we definitely need the additional tracking and the additional power. So, chance to hit. We're gaining a lot more tracking, even if I give that up to go for some additional power. Now we are way overboard again. So, I guess we're going to go for the crew quarters again. Give us a little bit more staying power then. Yeah, we need research in the reactors. We need research in the reactor area. Okay. And the destroyers living with the cargo pods, I guess. These were always a little bit weak in terms of the of getting getting their power up. Long range warp drives. It's a shame that you can't go, go for higher energy generating um, drives as well. Oh well, yeah, let's let's make that happen. Romulan Star Empire joined the Grand Alliance. Okay, that is a new development. So let's have a look. Um, Grand Alliance consists of the Cadassian Union and the Romulan Star Empire. Frack! That's not good. That's not good. The Kazans, the Zal, and the Krenim Imperium belong to the Celestial League, and the Tellarites and the United Federation form the beneficial axis together. That's also super weird, because you have a federation, and then these guys form another federation. <laughs> okay. Okay. Doesn't really change all that much. Okay, we destroyed their spaceport. None of their transport ships died, I guess. Which is a bit annoying, but what can you do? There's another ship of the Cheronites. These guys want... Oh, these guys want minerals for blood wine. Apparently we have two blood wine now. I take it because I actually really do want to upgrade my fleet. That's even going to cost me 7,000. Holy hell. Holy hell. But I'm guessing that it's going to give us a considerable boost in military power. I mean, reducing... Reducing the fire rate of those big ships might not be a great idea. Um, if you have any opinion on that, then please let me know in the comments. It's going to be the last um, of the episodes that I recorded for the weekend. But yeah, we're reducing that thing and I've actually wiggled out of that um, situation pretty easily. Okay, we have a colonization breakthrough. Uh, my name is Atrom and I've been leading a team researching advanced studies into colonial development. I'm pleased to announce that what we've made uh, is a substantial breakthrough offering us a number of potential applications. So what? Um, civilian entrepreneurs. This is but the very first step in a path that embraces the fringes of our society. The adventurers, dreamers and settlers, they have always been the first to explore and set forth. Choosing this path would make rapid colonization considerably cheaper and easier but at the expense of potentially losing control of our own people. This option can't be chosen by authoritarian empires. Frontier Collectives, a specialization focused on controlled and direct colonization. It allows for faster growth rates and colonization speeds, facilitates resettlement and faster building speeds. This option can't be selected by egalitarians. We are straddling the fence, but let's go for Frontier Collectives because it Research. really sounds like the thing that we should be doing. Right, um, a lot of things happened. What do we get over here? Resettlement cost minus 30%. That's really nice. Um, tactical station <laughs> still. I mean, probably. We want as much tracking on our ships as possible. But let's just knock out the special forces at this point. Just to get it over with. And then I guess I'm going to end the episode here. Lots, A lot has happened. I think we did pretty well. We are now on the offensive against the Husnok. This war really didn't turn out um, the way they wanted it. And uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope that you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.